Hello everyone, this is Paul Bertarelli reporting for AvWeb and Aviation Consumer from Diamond Aircraft Headquarters at London, Ontario. This is a Diamond Eclipse, one of the most popular trainers on the market today. One thing that customers of these airplanes have asked for is some kind of a glass cockpit, and now Diamond is beginning to offer that in, in the form of the Aspen EFD. Diamond is offering two versions of the Aspen system. The basic pilot is a $8,000 add-on to the standard price of the airplane, and the Digital Pro is a $10,000 add-on. Let's take a closer look at what these systems can do. To try out the Aspen system in the DA-20, I flew with Diamond test pilot Rob Johnson. In some ways, the DA-20 is the perfect candidate for minimal glass because of the airplane's inherent simplicity. It's a shame that Diamond never certified the Katana and Eclipse series for legal IFR because the airplane really is a perfect platform for instrument flying. As installed in the DA-20, the Aspen occupies front and center in the space normally used for an attitude gyro and a directional indicator. Although the Aspen has its own GPS receiver, that's for attitude enhancement, not navigation, so the system gets its position data from a Garmin GNS430. Since this is basic glass, what you get in the Aspen is an attitude indicator and an EHSI on the bottom of the display. All the basic stuff is there, but there's plenty of additional data, including things like bug speed and altitude, true airspeed and ground speed, wind vectors, outside air temperature, just to name a few. The Aspen is no G1000, that's for sure, but it's technically deep. You can access multiple nav sources, for instance, and customize a display to a certain extent. Because of its small cabin size in the DA-20, the display is just the right distance from the pilot's eyeballs, so it's more readable than it might be in larger aircraft. During our trial flight, we did some maneuvering and navigation, including an ILS back into London. Between the GNS-430 and the Aspen displays, instrument approaches are about as simple as it gets with an Aspen system. In this clip, you can see how the Aspen displays both course guidance and glide slope on an ILS. From the Boys Will Be Boys department, Johnson asked if I'd ever seen how glass behaves in an upset scenario. No? Well, how about a six-turn spin? Whoopee, here we go. What's interesting is that the electronic ADI doesn't look that much different from an iron gyro in the midst of the spin. At recovery, however, it loses lock on which way is up, but it gets it back in about three seconds. An iron gyro would recover, indicating a bank until the vanes re-erected the rotor. In case you missed it, here's the full six turns, rapid fire. Some days I really love my job. Enough of the silliness. You can find out more about the Aspen system by contacting Diamond at diamondair.com. For a full review of the Aspen system, see the June 2008 issue of Aviation Consumer at aviationconsumer.com. I'm Paul Bertarelli reporting for AvWeb and Aviation Consumer. Thanks for watching.